Hi, my name is Arlen Ciuselis and I am a former MEMSELF student. I come from Mexico and I was part of the generation 2011-2013. In the first place I chose to do MEMSELF because I already had this desire since I was in university to do material science. I was always interested in uh, metallurgy and in surface science. I had already worked previously in Mexico in a surface science lab and I wanted to know more to be able to develop myself more in this field and because I had a physics background it wasn't really the most evident thing to go towards surface science which is a complete change or a, a development from what I had been doing before. When I applied to Mama Self, what attracted me the most was that I was going to be able to experience different type of education, not only outside of Mexico, but also between different countries in Europe. Once I got accepted and I started to live what really Mama Self meant, having classes that were really uh, rich in content, with different type of professors, different personalities, everybody has a different way of teaching and this makes your brain work at a different rate than if you are used to having the same thing over and over. And uh, one of the most interesting parts was also to be able to meet people from all over the world that had a common goal, a common interest to develop themselves in a very specific field that really loved science and wanted to go further. <laughs> in here we can see the synchrotron ring and each one of these lines that are coming out of the ring is one experimental beam line such as the one that is shown in this scheme we have a part that is connected to the center of the ring from which the photon beam is coming. Then it passes through a series of uh, chambers and instrumentation that allows us to have a very good quality beam. And finally, it arrives to an experimental chamber in which we have our samples and we are able to probe the properties that we want to, to probe. Here in the first part is the exit of the photon beam from the ring and it is entering into a series of chambers that allows the beam to be focused and have a good quality to perform our experiment. Once it passes all this instrumentation, then we arrive to a second chamber in which we have uh, all of our experimental setup and our samples to perform the experiments. And finally, in the last part, we have a, a chamber that is dedicated to the control of the experiment. So this is where us, the scientists, are found. And here we are able to modify all the parameters in order to perform the experiment. Hi, Alan. Hi. Uh, welcome in my new office of uh, Science Director of Soleil. Yes. Uh, so, you see, this is the uh, ring. Uh, of Soleil, and uh, here is the Cassiope beamline where Alan Xu has performed all her experiments uh, uh, the last three years yes. actually. Mm -hmm. So, can you say a few words about your work on Cassiope? So, I have uh, used almost all the ensemble of the Cassiope beamline, and I have been doing growth experiments and I have been measuring. Uh, the properties of certain materials. I think I have exploited very good the, the, all the things that we can use in the beamline. And um, additionally, I have used other parts of the synchrotron, which is a little bit more up, which is the laboratory of uh, surface. And in this one, we are able also to, to do complementary studies to what we can do yeah, in the synchrotron. It should be here, yeah. yeah, it should yeah. Be <laughs> So indeed, Alan uh, has been here after her uh, uh, master's degree uh, in the frame of the Erasmus program. Uh, and she was at the University of uh, Rennes, uh, and uh, she has worked on uh, um, graphene, 
which is uh, a, a promising material uh, for uh, uh, electronics. And actually, when she arrived here, it was just after the big excitement of the Nobel Prize on graphene. So Alan has been working uh, on a really uh, fantastic uh, subject and uh, which uh, actually initiated a, 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 a firestorm of investigations. So she had to uh, uh, work on many, many publications and try uh, uh, to uh, uh, um, determine what was next to do and uh, what was interesting to one work on this uh, material which was already uh, investigated by so many researchers. Mm -hmm. So she has used the capabilities of the beamline for the emission to uh, look at this fantastic electronic structure of graphene and she had this idea of uh, um, growing uh, graphene herself in situ in our uh, preparation and growth chamber uh, on some uh, material which were uh, very peculiar. It was uh, curved metals, uh, uh, noble metals like iridium, platinum, that show many fa facets and angles. So the graphene grows on these curved uh, metals and give you the possibility to, to study uh, the growth of graphene on uh, different um, steps or uh, um, surfaces with different, uh, different angles. Can you say a few words about your conclusions on this work? So, uh, throughout my work I have done two parts. One is a collaboration with uh, the United States that we yeah. have developed here on the Beamline when Amina was the head of the Beamline. And uh, in this part we studied uh, samples that came from the United States and we did comp complementary work. And on the other part of my thesis what I've done is uh, grow the samples by myself in other type of surfaces and uh, we have concluded that we are able to modulate the electronic properties of this material by choosing an appropriate substrate and an appropriate size. So we are giving a little, more, a little bit more insight in how can we play with uh, certain parameters to really tailor the properties of a material for future applications. In graphene, uh, for example, the application of the future could be to use it as a replacement for silicon in transistors to be used in all kinds of electronic devices every day. So it's a, it's a major accomplishment and I wish her all the luck for her defense. Yeah, thank you. Me personally, I was in two different countries, France and Italy. And this allowed me not only to, to live a different type of education, having different type of labs, having different type of uh, colleagues, but also um, allowed me to immerse myself in the culture of the country. One of the things that I keep the most about uh, the master, besides all the content and all the knowledge that we gained, is also the experience of meeting wonderful people from all over the world and not only being able to be colleagues but also being able to make links of friendship with these people that even though it has been already three years since we left the master we still see each other, we appreciate each other a lot and uh, really having being part of the Mamas of Master is being part of a community. Whether you already graduated or you are still studying, you feel like you are part of a community. In here we are looking at uh, the direct data that we obtain once we do a photoemission experiment. We obtain it in the, in the form of a 3D matrix. Here we can see the cuts on the reciprocal space and in here we can see the electronic structure of our material directly from reciprocal space and energy axis. Now I am going to show you the Cassiope beam line which is where I have performed my experiments during my Mama Self Master.
thanks to myself, now I have the opportunity to become almost anything that I want when it comes to research. I can either be a researcher in a private research center like it is Soleil, I could become a professor at the university and perform at the same time research, or I could go to industry, which is uh, the choice that I am taking now is to look for uh, a job in industry in a research and development uh, area of an enterprise, which will be able to use all that I have acquired through the master and put into work in the PhD, uh, as I have developed uh, a number of skills that are looked for in enterprise, and I will be able to help solve problems that are directly connected to what we are living in society today.